<laughs> okay. Fine. Another day at Smollett. CNN just can't stop. It's as if CNN exists in an alternate universe in which they broadcast their show into our universe. Last night on CNN, Don Lemon spun another tall tale about how responsibly and how fact-based CNN's reporting on the Smollett case has been. He even then goes on to say that it's not Smollett's fault that he's lost in the court of public opinion. You know, every now and then when I'm watching this stuff, it makes me feel a little bit like Alex in the movie Clockwork Orange during the scene when he's being brainwashed. And, you know, it's been um, um, interesting trying to report on this particular story. And we've done several reports on this show, just the facts straight. Here's what we know. Here's what we don't know. No, 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 no! CNN most certainly did not report on just the facts. CNN jumped in headfirst into this hoax, reporting that the MAGA Trump supporters were responsible and that this was America in 2019. CNN did what the rest of the left-wing media did. They used the story as a weapon against their political opposition. This is not even up for debate. We have ample evidence and footage of CNN and the rest of the media reporting on all this stuff gleefully, not asking any critical questions, and even going after people who were critical of the story. And at this point, everybody has seen this footage. Who does Don Lemon think he's fooling here? His attackers hurled racial and homophobic slurs. The offenders uttered, this is MAGA country. And now police say they're investigating this as a possible hate crime. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi tweeting the racist homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is an affront to our humanity. And Senator Cory Booker said the vicious attack on actor Jesse was an attempted modern day lynching. Kamala Harris calling the attack an attempted modern day lynching. Mm. This is America in 2019. So as you can clearly see here, CNN was not interested in reporting just facts. They were only interested in confirming their partisan rhetoric about Trump supporters and Republicans in general. I'm not even going to go into all the tweets from CNN contributors again, showing their support for Smollett and condemning half the country. You are um, you're just sort of speculating about things. Right. And we don't know what happened. And a lot of the been, media did that, and in politics, too. A lot of the media. If you, if you look at every single report on this show, it'll show you that it was just stray things. Yeah, so did CNN. As I and a million other people have demonstrated, CNN was part of the problem. And just a side note here, does anybody else notice how Don Lemon uses all these exaggerated facial expressions? That's his attempt at acting. He actually thinks that by doing this, that he appears more sincere and that he's more believable, that people will believe what he's saying. Among the most skeptical people, the early skeptics, were black queer folk saying, this just doesn't seem to add up. What? Uh, no, I'm sorry. The first skeptics were pretty much anybody who heard the story right from the start. Everywhere I read the story that day, whether it be on internet forums or news sites or on Twitter, everybody was skeptical. There was very few people that bought into the story right away, but the people who did buy into it were all like left-wingers, left-wing Hollywood people, left-wing media figures. Nowhere did I see black homosexuals expressing any skepticism anywhere. Why doesn't Don Lemon provide any examples of this? If I'm wrong, then please show me in the comment section. Why? Why do you think they were so skeptical of it? Well, common sense yeah. often always kicks in. Um, I think the the way he had outlined or sort of uh, the, the way the facts were put out, it was a little too perfect. It is nauseating how these charlatans are trying to spin and rewrite history to cast themselves as the skeptics of the story. There was not a single skeptical voice in the media until several days later, and this was long after all the inconsistencies had already been pointed out over the internet, and people were already calling into question whether this was a hoax or not. Even Willie Geist on MSNBC, who has a long documented history of bias, was saying that in his profession, people were hoping for certain outcomes. I just... I don't, I don't know if we know. You know, again, he enjoys the presumption of innocence. Sure, that's why. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't look good. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good lesson for a lot of people, including people in our business, about not rooting for an outcome. You see a story, to wait. some people hope it's true, and they dive in on it before we know anything about it. That's not journalism. That's 
activism or I don't even know if that's activism because it's just straight up propaganda. These people got a story and they saw that the story fit right in with their narrative against their political opposition and they instantly put it out there. Everyone at that table was hoping for a specific outcome. But the media doesn't hope for anything. They make it happen. The media wanted the story to be true and they were trying to make the story true. Even after all the inconsistencies came out days later, ABC News still interviewed him and didn't ask a single critical question. And that's where his battle is. Whether legally, if he has to go, whatever he has to serve, if it's jail time, if he has to do probation, if he has to pay, whatever. But in the court of public opinion, it, it matters. That, it, it matters. And he lost yeah. that because of how, and, and not his fault, maybe people were. I don't know what they were saying to him, How maybe because of his representatives. I, who, who knows? I, I <laughs> Not his fault? Did I just hear Don freaking Lemon say that this isn't Jesse's fault? Whose fault is it, Lemon? Why is a hard-hitting journalist like you even commenting on who's at fault? I thought you just reported the straight facts, Don Lemon. You know what? Nothing Don Lemon does is straight. As if it wasn't bad enough to promote yet another in a long line of media-driven hate hoaxes, now they're looking us straight in the face and telling us that it never happened. And to the rest of the media's credit, it's only really CNN that I've seen really commit themselves to reporting this alternate version of history where they just reported the straight facts. Mark my words, it won't be long until the next fake news bombshell. They're just waiting for an excuse to move on and shift focus to another attack on their political opposition. The best course of action is just to turn them off. Let me watch them for you.